Hi all, this is the second session of our discussions regarding reaction intermediates. The intermediates discussed today are carbenes and nitrates. Carbenes are highly reactive neutral species in which the carbon atom has six electrons in the valence shell. So first see the generation step. Here in this first let's consider the second example in which chloroform is taken and it is treated with a base OH- to give dichlorocarbene. This is an important step on formation. This dichloro formation of this dichlorocarbene takes place in the mechanism of the ringmer diemann reaction, okay, in which the phenol is converted into salicylaldehyde. The intermediate formed is dichlorocarbene. Now let's see how it is formed. First, from, see, from this chloroform, OH- is abstracting a proton. OH- is abstracting, abstracting a proton like this and water will be eliminated. And the resultant species is this carbon with three chlorine atoms with two electrons or a negative charge. We can say that it, it is a negative charge or we can simply depict these two electrons. Okay, a negative charge. In this negative charge, one electron is of carbon and the other electron is of the hydrogen okay so this is here two electrons are there now from this system chlorine is eliminated as one chlorine atom is eliminated as Cl minus okay so this Cl is eliminated like this and the resulting species is this two chlorine atoms are attached to carbon there is no change for that and the remaining one is the two electrons okay please don't get confused with this because here in here these two electrons means it's a negative charge normally we will be depicting as a negative charge in that negative charge there is there are, there are the two electrons are one from carbon and the other from hydrogen atom and here this cl remo gets removed from the system as cl minus and this cl is also taking the electron from the carbon atom so for carbon atom it has gained one electron from hydrogen but it lost one electron to chlorine atom as a result, there is no net charge, okay? So, there is no net charge, there is no positive charge here. It has gained one electron from hydrogen but, and it has lost one electron to chlorine atom. So, the resultant species will be like this. It is neutral, okay? It is neutral because there are six electrons around carbon atom here. Count this. The, these two electrons are here and from here also, in this bond, covalent bond, two electrons are there and in this CCL bond, again, there are two electrons. So, as a result, there are six electrons, okay? So, it is neutral electron deficient because it needs two more electrons to complete the octet. So, it is neutral and electron deficient. Therefore, it is an example for Lewis acid also. Okay, this is how dichlorocarbon is formed and this is the intermediate of Riemer-Diemann reaction also and in the same manner, let's try to understand the another preparation, another generation that is from diazomethane. Diazomethane has two resonance structures. This is the first resonance structure. From here, you are getting a species like this. This is also a diazomethane. And here also, this carbon, this CH2, this carbon atom has gained two electrons. One electron from the remaining, this neighboring nitrogen and one from its own. Okay. And it is gaining one electron to nitrogen also. So, as a result, there is no gain or loss, net gain or loss. There is no positive or negative charge. Simply, we will be getting a carbon with two bonds and two electrons. Okay. This is another method for generation of carbons. Now, we have to see the structure and stability. Okay. Carbons are, there are two types of, as divided into two, which are singlet and triplet carbons. In singlet state, the carbon atom is sp2 hybridized okay you are well versed with the hybridization of sp2 here one there are three lobes okay three sp2 lobes are there for each carbon atom and these two are three orbitals with i mean two sp2 lobes have single electrons and so they are combining with the alkyl group okay they are combining with the alkyl group to form single bonds sigma bonds two alkyl groups have formed two sigma bonds alkyl or hydrogen okay and in the remaining sp2 orbital there lies the two electrons of carbene okay and there will be 
in the case of sp2 hybridization there will be an unhybridized pz orbital and in the case of this singlet carpene this is vacant okay the unhybridized pz orbital is vacant so in the case of singlet carbene, the carbon atom is sp2 hybridized. So the bond angle will be 120 degree. And in the third law, in the third sp2 law, there resides the two electrons as paired state. Okay, as in the paired state. And the unhybridized phase orbital is vacant. Okay, these are all the characteristics of singlet carbene. And when it comes to triplet carbene, the carbon atom is sp hybridized. So sp lobes will be 180 degree apart. Okay, and here it, it forms... A bond with our alkyl group or hydrogen okay alkyl group or hydrogen and there are two unhybridized pz orbitals two unhybridized not pz orbital two un unhybridized orbitals one is pz and the other is py and the two electrons of carbene reside in these orbitals okay they are not in paired state they are they don't occupy one single law they occupy the different orbitals of pz and py okay so as a result you will be getting the structure of singlet carbene as, as given in this diagram okay it is sp hybridized bond angle is 180 degree and the two electrons are not in a pair state they are in parallel state. they are in, they have parallel spin and they reside two they occupy two different orbitals this is all about the structure of carbene and when it comes to reactions, I, as I have already mentioned, it, dichlorocarbene is the intermediate formed in the case of this Riemer demand reaction. Okay. And another important reaction of carbene is that wherever it forms a double bond, wherever it forms a double bond, it attaches to that bond. Okay. With this, here two electrons are there. And here in the case of this alkane double bond, we can depict it as two electrons. Okay, one electron on respective carbon atom. So as a result, easily it can form a triangular structure like this. Okay, so cyclopropane, whenever a carbene attacks to adds to an alkene, cy cyclopropane derivative is formed. Yes. And now we have to see the characteristics of nitrates. These are neutral. Again, these are these are just these are known as the called as the nitrogen analog of carbenes. Okay, so the characteristics, preparation and all, they have a similar method of preparation and reactions, etc. So these are neutral, monovalent, and electron deficient nitrogen containing species are called nitrates. And these are the intermediates and main re named reactions, the most common named reactions such as Hoffman, Curtius, Lawson, Schmidt rearrangement. Okay, so when it comes to the generation part, it is prepared from the simplest nitrine that is HN that is prepared from the by the photolysis of hydrozoic acid. HN3 is hydrozoic acid on photolysis this HN is formed it is called azine and here I have given the resonance structures these are the two resonance structures in the second structure you can see that these two electrons are there in the in case of nitrogen because nitrogen has one lot pair intact so we are not disturbing or we are not getting it involved in the in our discussions that is they are that lone pair is separate and it is there now we have to see the second electron pair appears okay that is because of this rearrangements here this nitrogen received this negative charge means there are two electrons one is of nitrogen itself and the other it received from the neighboring nitrogen atom okay one one is of its own and the other it is received from the neighboring atom, neighboring nitrogen atom. And when this group is eliminated as N2 molecule, the adjacent nitrogen atom, the adjacent nitrogen atom is taking off the one electron from this nitrogen. So it loses one nitrogen. It gained one electron and it loses the same electron. It loses another electron. So as a result, there is no positive or negative charge. The structure is like this. In this one is there in fact we haven't taken that long pair and again we are getting two electrons okay we cannot depict it as long pair sometimes it could be it could act as a long pair and sometimes it, it may not that we'll be discussing in the structure part okay in the same analogy ethyl nitrine is formed by the pyrolysis of ethyl azide okay 
with the same mechanism as we have written here. And regarding the structure, like carbenes, nitrines have also two variants, which are singlet and triplet. Singlet and triplet. In the singlet state, both in the case of carbenes and nitrines, in the singlet state, the electron, the two electrons will be in one lobe and that and they will be in paired condition. Okay, this is the singlet nitrogen. And in the case of triplet nitrogen, the two electrons reside in different orbitals. Okay, this is the difference between singlet and nitrogen. Yes, this is all about the discussion regarding carbenes and nitrates. Thanks for watching.